The T2i is a terrific tool and we're having a lot of fun here playing with it and then showing off all the the things that uh, can be done. Mind you, this is a learning experience for me. That's why I'm calling this uh, the T2i for regular schmoes, because essentially that's what I am too. Now there's an extra tool that you might not even be aware of that's part of the kit that you bought if you just got a T2i. Now if you're like me, you don't pay any attention to the some of the extras that come with your camera. There's one uh, CD or DVD or whatever it is that has the uh, manual which of course there's a paper manual and it's full of good information too and I probably will never put that in the computer however the other CD is the uh, software that goes with the camera and that's something else I usually ignore because most of the time the software for instance the software that goes with uh, camcorders is usually pretty hopeless However, I love the software that comes with this. Put it in the, com in the computer, load it up, and start running it. Because it will do something amazing for you. It's going to allow you to control the camera from the computer. Now, you may have already found this out, so you know I'm, I'm wasting your time. But uh, let me switch over to what's become my B camera now. I can't believe that. But this is my, uh, my old uh, Panasonic HDC. What is it called? An HDC? What did I... Ah, SD100. T2i is so much easier to remember. All right, let's take a quick spin around the room on that side. Um, there's our camera and my gramophone. We'll, we'll get into that later. The lights are back there, but I'm not going to shine the camera or put the camera on that. Now, as you can see right there, it's the, uh, the software. It's called the EOS Utility. And you're going to want to run it because it gives you a super live view of everything that's going on inside your camera or on your camera and there's a lot of other controls you'll just have to uh, turn it on and start playing with it but I highly recommend this I've been trying to use a crappy old uh, TV set little LCD TV and let's just face it the, the image is just not that great for this kind of camera but the one that's on your computer is fantastic runs off the USB port and uh, should work for you pretty well highly recommend it and um, like I said don't do like I usually do and just put the software away and forget about it anyway I'm gonna have some more footage coming up and some special stuff um, because we just crossed the line of a hundred subscribers to this channel thank you thank you very much so uh, we'll see what happens after that